Fortnite Chapter 5's finale live event just got revealed and we have an early gameplay showcase of everything happening during the event along with a secret free reward that you guys can claim for watching it live. And if you want to be gifted any of the new skins dropping into Fortnite's item shop, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. And a big shout out to everyone using code NRPH in the item shop. You guys are legends, so thank you so much. But as of earlier this morning, if you guys make your way over to Restored Reels Point of Interest, you would notice that the Fortnite Chapter 5 Finale Live event is actually going to be taking place here thanks to the first stage in our first official teaser for the build up to the event is now live in game. You guys can see there is a purple countdown timer above the screen that you can also see in the lobby. And there is now new graffiti graphics that are showcasing on the screen over at Restored Reels, which if you take a closer look is actually two iconic points of interest from chapter two, season two, which is the shark POI and of course the agency. One thing to note here is that this graffiti style is almost identical to the style that was graffitied back a few seasons ago in the beginning of chapter 5 when we were first introduced to the Wanderer, which we now know was Dr. Doom. So maybe this is not the last time we see Dr. Doom and this same graffiti style is hinting at the fact that after this event, he may be returning as the Wanderer in chapter 2 remix. Now luckily for us, data miners did find the next few stages for the live event that are going to be getting updated every single day until the event happens on November 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern. So as you guys can see for stage two, there is actually going to be a DJ sound mixer and booth that appears in game that will be floating around and actually playing music, which we did get an early snippet of that I'll let you guys listen to real quick. Now this makes a lot of sense because it was also confirmed by data miners that this upcoming finale live event is actually going to include some type of musical concert and collab as well as a cinematic scene and actual live event mainly due to the fact that on top of the DJ sound mixer being added as one of the build up stages assets from Party Royale are also being used in this event which Party Royale is literally only known for having concerts and musical performances. It was also confirmed that the sky will be changing colors and it will be synchronized to the party royale assets and music that we get during this event which is very exciting it might be a kind of hybrid between concert and actual event which is kind of the best of both worlds data miners also found this early footage you guys can see that shows and confirms that the rift beacons especially the ones located at restored reels are actually going to be activating and shooting the screen which is probably going to be opening up some type of weird rift portal during the event which is how we're going to get sucked into Chapter 2 Remix. Each day as the event gets closer, the Rift Beacons will get more powerful until finally the event starts on this upcoming Friday. And it was confirmed that there will be four different stages of buildup, with obviously the first one starting earlier this morning. So each day there will be a new phase, which means that Restored Reels will be actively be getting changed every single day you guys log in and check it out. It was also confirmed that the Rift Butterfly will also be found and part take in this event. You guys can see the Rift Butterfly slightly appear during the early footage we have of the DJ set actually appearing in game. But what I find interesting is that the Rift Butterfly was also seen in the Chapter 2 Remix teaser package that Fortnite sent out to content creators last week, where inside the box there was a bunch of Rift Butterflies, which at the time no one knew how those connected to Chapter 2 Remix. But now the data miners confirmed that these are going to be playing some type of role in this upcoming event. Event, maybe this was Fortnite's way of teasing that all along, which is really, really cool. Also, make sure to add us on Snapchat for more giveaways, daily news, and special item shop gifting. It was also confirmed that during this event, four main points of interest on the Fortnite Chapter 5 island are going to be either destroyed or completely unloaded from the game, which has me thinking that the Rift Beacons are probably going to malfunction in some way, causing them to destroy these, or Doctor Doom might actually be rifted back accidentally 
causing us to have to fight him again, and of course, in the process, taking out all of these POIs that you guys can see early images of, of what they are going to look like after these POIs are removed. And for those wondering, the four points of interest are the Raft, the Underworld, which means that maybe Mephisto is also going to be involved in this live event, since Mephisto, after the Four Nightmares event took place, actually took over the Underworld and changed all of the River Styx from green to his iconic red, and of course, we do know that Mephisto was a very dangerous villain in the Marvel Universe, so there is a chance that he does play a role in this live event, since his new base of operation on the island is going to be getting annihilated. We also have Nitro Dome and the train station getting removed, which of course, I don't think any of us are too surprised about, since we already know we will be heading back to the Chapter 2 island after this event is over. And as of right now, that is all the confirmed early information we have about the upcoming Chapter 5 finale event. There is a theory that since there is a concert involved and music is a very heavy theme in the build-up to the event and Chapter 2 Remix, that the new remixed Marshmallow skin that is getting released for Fortnite Mares may be performing and this could be a collaboration with Marshmallow and Marvel to transition us to Chapter 2 Remix, but of course that is just a theory that I thought would be pretty cool. But the good news is that Fortnite is going to be giving out a special free reward for everyone attending the Chapter 5 Finale event and it was already confirmed by data miners, which is very good news. Leakers actually found in the Fortnite files under the file Killin, which is the code name for the upcoming live event, that there was a Grant BB tag actually found in the live events files, which people are speculating is a code for Grant Backbling. And of course, we have had Fortnite release free backblings in the past. Obviously, a staple was Rust Bucket, one of the first free rewards Epic ever gave out. And we've also seen Fortnite release tons of different free rewards over numerous different live events that we've seen over the past seven years. Typically, these free rewards are anything from skin styles, pickaxes, back blings, gliders, and most recently, a lot of the rewards are usually loading screens and smaller things, but considering this is the finale for Chapter 5 with so much buildup sending us back to OG2 and prepping us for Chapter 6, I would not be surprised if Epic does give out a free back bling for everyone that participates in the upcoming event mainly due to the fact that they obviously want as many people to participate as possible. Another easter egg that most people seem to be overlooking is this loading screen right here, which was actually one of the free rewards that we were all able to earn a part of this year's Fortnite Mirrors event. But what most people are overlooking is this new loading screen is actually depicting what could be early scenes of the upcoming live event. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that all the skins are sitting at the steps of restored reels, and it's basically their point of interest of watching the screen with what could be the rift beacon actually activating behind them and they all look terrified so again I think this was Fortnite's way of foreshadowing the upcoming finale event them teasing that it was going to be taking place at restored reels and more specifically whatever cinematics or actions take place on that screen are going to be very vital and it could end up being pretty spooky just based off a lot of this character's reactions in this loading screen so again I just thought that was really cool this has been in game for over a month now and we're just now connecting the dots to this foreshadowing the upcoming event. But with all that being said, that is all I got for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.